Today, I wanted to share with you one of my favorite herbal allies. It's really in the top 10 for me, maybe even the top five, and that is pomegranate husk. The rind of the pomegranate fruit is a potent, potent herbal medicine. Wanted to share with you some of the symptoms that make me think, okay, look, pomegranate might make a little play here. Um, some of the actions, uh, some of the bugs that it treats, and uh, you know, really why it has taken a prominent space in the herbal dispensary. So most herbalists that have been practicing for a while and that you know have those kind of runs on the board, put those hours in, they will have developed a really strong affinity for different herbs, and they're different for every herbalist. Um, you know, for me, it's the herbs that work. Number one, <laughs> we need them to be you know effective. That's, that's pretty straightforward. The herbs that are safe, um, particularly medium to long term, sometimes it takes time to get those results. Uh, number three, the herbs that have some science behind them. Um, we want to kind of know what they're doing as best we can, and that's where I use the literature. I'm definitely using a lot of clinical experience now, maybe over the literature. I think, I think seeing what works and, and developing that affinity for the herb is, is important. And then the last piece that I've been diving into more and more would be the traditional cultural use of these herbal medicines. So pomegranate husk, pomegranate rind, the peel of the pomegranate fruit, it's really where a lot of those active constituents are in kind of ample amount and I will be recommending this as a liquid herbal medicine for the vast majority of my patients. I've considered kind of prescribing it as a tea where you kind of decoct your own from the rind, you know, the powdered dried rind, but it's incredibly astringent, right? And you can feel that in your mouth and, you know, upper digestive tract, lower digestive tract if you're extra sensitive as it passes through. And that's a good thing. That's what we're looking for. That's the action, right? It's not a pill. It's not an antibiotic. It's, it's acting on the mucosal lining, the bacteria that might be imbalanced there. It's, it's having an impact on your body. Um, so astringent, really, really big action there. It's potently, potently antimicrobial. Bacteria that would really take the kind of, you know, top there. Next level down would be parasitic, so antiparasitic. Third level down there I would think would be antifungal. And just remember there are definitely stronger antifungals in the dispensary. So I'll turn to those if I'm suspecting fungal. But if it's a mixed case, look, they've got candida overgrowth and there's some mold in the picture and we've got some bacteria, maybe SIBO or large bowel dysbiosis. I will be uh, using pomegranate, particularly if there is loose stools or diarrhea. That's a strong, strong indication. So let's get specific on uh, the conditions. I will turn to pomegranate specifically when I do some testing. I'm suspecting bacterial, I use it. I get some actual uh, data from stool testing. And remember anyone who's been sick for longer than a year, I'll be recommending functional testing, out of pocket, firm recommendations, save so much time, and you can be so much more direct with your treatment, specific for you as an individual, very, very holistic. Um, some of the gram-positive bugs, I don't really prioritize those when I see them on a uh, stool test, things like bacillus, things like streptococcus, things like staphylococcus. I do see them coming back, you know, a good amount of the time, and, and really I will put that as a, a priority once we've dealt with some of the more significant overgrowths. For me, those are the gram-negative bacteria. I see a lot of bacterial dysbiosis in that gram-negative kind of side of things. Very pro-inflammatory, sets off the immune system. They're immunogenic, big ones there. E. coli, strong, strong, strong kind of indication for E. coli, pomegranate husk. Campylobacter, strong indication there. Salmonella, for sure, Shigella, Vibrio, Pseudomonas, Klebsiella, Yersinia, even H. pylori, I'll be turning towards pomegranate husk for that. 
And H. pylori, it can be incredibly treatment resistant. So sometimes you need very high doses of herbs. You really need to kind of hit that bug. And thankfully you can prescribe big doses of pomegranate short term to get results safely. If we're thinking about parasites, I will be thinking about pomegranate husk specifically for Giardia. Entamoeba histolytica, I'll probably go for stronger therapies. Um, things like the uh, berberine alkaloid kind of uh, herbal medicines, oregano oil, it's, it's a pretty significant pathogen. It's gotta go. Blastocystis, if we're looking to reduce the numbers, cryptosporidium, I, I don't see a whole lot of cryptosporidium in my practice for some reason, I'm not sure why. Then fungal overgrowth, and again, there are stronger antifungals in the dispensary. So on the active constituent side of things, this is really where pomegranate husk uh, shines. The phytochemistry kind of boils down to a lot of the polyphenols, very, very specifically the plant tannins, and those tend to have a really, really selective antimicrobial action on the gut. We have some studies showing that pomegranate actually reduces you know, unfriendly bugs, a lot of the bugs we mentioned, and supports or feeds a lot of these beneficial bacteria, things like um, bifidobacteria. So pro-inflammatory, not so friendly bugs up here, bifido probably getting knocked around a bit, pomegranate husk can really shift that balance of the gut back into a more healthy, balanced state by selectively killing and selectively feeding. It's this beautiful, beautiful herb that kind of, it's a formula all on its own. There are a bunch of other indications. I mainly work with digestive health, so we'll keep it there. And uh, stay tuned, we're gonna have so many more herbs, herbal allies that I've come to love, wanted to share them with you. If you like this video, like it, leave a comment, subscribe. And if you're looking for digestive health support, you live in Australia and New Zealand, then reach out to us here at the clinic.